Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today. I'm going to give you a progress update on my 1930 Action PC Baseball League. Now, I know up in the top it says 1971. I don't know why it says that. It is clearly the 1930 League. I don't know how I got those two things mixed up. But we are playing 1930, and we are the Washington Senators. And I have uh, played some games and quick played a few and gotten us to uh, where we are entering the, the um, games of June 1st of 1930. So at that point, you can see the standings are right up here in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, in the American League, our Washington Senators have the lead in the American League. We are three games better than the New York Yankees, and we are five games better than the Philadelphia Athletics, who we are in the middle of a series against. And then six games better than Cleveland, seven and a half better than Detroit. I think those are the contending teams. Then you got the St. Louis Browns, who are 18 and 22 and 10 and a half back. The Chicago White Sox by Chicago White Sox who are 14 and 24 and 13 and a half back. And the Boston Red Sox are an incredibly bad 6 and 34. Unbelievable. And then in the National League, you got the St. Louis Cardinals leading the way at 28 and 12. They are a half game worse than us. Um but that doesn't really matter because they're in the National League. They only have a one-game lead over Brooklyn, though. A two-game lead over the Cubs. A nine-game lead over the Boston Braves. And a ten-game lead over Pittsburgh. And then you've got all the rest. You've got Cincinnati, 12 and a half back. Philadelphia Phillies, 11 and 23. And the New York Giants at 12 and 27. So this is uh, what you got you, um, for the batting leaders in the American League. Babe Ruth is leading the way with a 432 batting average. And let me see if this will do it by home runs or do it by the category. No, it doesn't. It won't uh, sort by that. But he is hitting 432 with 14 home runs. Gehrig is hitting 408 with 11 home runs. Ed Morgan... Cleveland is hitting 381. Before you get down to anybody on our team, it's got to be Sam Rice, and Sam Rice is hitting 361 for us with no home runs. And then on the pitching side, the pitching leaders, we do have the second guy. The first guy is Art Herring, he of Detroit, and he has a 150 earned run average, and he's 7 0. Quite a year for uh, Art Herring. But we've got Furpo Marbury picking up the second spot with a 171 earned run average and a 6-0 record. And then we also have on that list Ad Liska. And he is 3-3 three three with a 325 earned run average. So that's what we got. And up here in the batting uh, leaders, we do have, I mentioned Sam Rice, we also have Joe Judge, who's hitting 351. So let's take a look at Washington on the year. Uh, here are the uh, batters for our team. Jackie Hayes is hitting 375. Uh, Sam Rice is hitting 361. Joe Judge is hitting 351. Cronin's hitting 344. Sam Rice, 317. George Lope at 302, Goose Goslin at 285, and uh, let's see, let's take a look at some of our home run guys. Joe Judge has seven home runs, and uh, Goslin has five, and then it drops off a real big cliff with Cronin and West hitting two each. Um, so let's take a look at the pitchers. For our team, and there you go. There's Furpo. There he is, six and zero with a 171 earned run average in 63 innings. Um, and then Ad Liska with a 325. Garland Braxton, 
346 and 1 and 0 on the year. Sad Sam Jones, 4 and 2 with a 391 earned run average. Bobby Burke with a 406. He's 2 and 1 with a 406 earned run average. Uh, Bump Hadley is 3 and 4 with a 413. Lloyd Brown is 7 and 1 with a 428 earned run average. So he's got a better, I mean, he's got a crazy good record considering he has a 428 earned run average for 1930, which is crazy. And then Miles Thomas is 3 and 1 and has a save with a 589 earned run average. So uh, that is where you go. Oh, that's where you, uh, what you got for us for uh, you know, our statistics. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the yeah, go back to the standings page here, and we are going to the next game that I'll put up um, will be June 1st. I'm not gonna play that game right now though, but the next time I do put up a video of the game, I'm gonna pick it up with June 1st since we did play like three quarters of May um, behind the scenes and not on a video, but. Yeah, I like I like where we are. Three games ahead of the Yankees and five games ahead of the A's. So let me uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, um, if, if, is there, if there's anybody out there who's an authority on the 1930 season, how are we doing in comparison to the 1930 season? I could have looked that up, but I forgot to do that right now. But um, I like where we are. We're I mean we're winning we're winning our league. We're on. Uh, on course to be the uh, pennant winners for 1930. In fact, I think the A's, I think the Philadelphia A's actually won. If I don't, um, if I if I remember correctly, I think the Philadelphia A's actually won the American League in 1930. But if I'm not right about that, you can let me know. Uh, but I just wanted to give a quick update, just do a quick video, a quick Friday video where I let you guys know uh, where we are in the 1930 season. I haven't forgotten about it. And, uh, you know, just get your reactions. And uh, we'll move along smartly uh, with this season and uh, also with other things, other projects that I have going on. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolt.